Hills here. I'm here with a young man that's a hard worker and unfortunately he's suffering with a thick fungal toenail as well as a lot of fungus in between the toes. Um, the reason I want to show you this video is because it's a little more of a severe case and he's got some maceration or some moistening um, of the tissue in between the toes. So that's so important to get that dried out. So come in and take a peek with me. So right in between here, if you can see that, see how white that is? Now, I understand, you know, you take a shower in the morning, it can, you're like thinking, oh, it's probably from the shower. Um, it should be dried out by now. So the reason it's important is because when this gets wet, what happens is the skin can tear and then infection, like a bacterial infection, mm -hmm. um, can tunnel easier, easily into the um, skin. And then even I had to one time, um, it was in, in between these two toes, go in, make an incision and drain out all the infection. It was a, a large amount of fluid and pus that came out um, and flush it out. So, you know, you're looking at recovering from a surgery like that just with something as simple as this. Yeah. So what um, we're gonna do is he's actually gonna paint some betadine, which is a great antibacterial. It's a great um, drying agent as well every day. And then we're gonna weave some lamb's wool in between the toes okay. um, as well every single day. Also, yeah, that's the hard part. Um, also, after your shower, go ahead and have a towel and really, well, when you're washing it, you're gonna be washing with the antifungal soap. So with a washcloth in between, really good. And then when you're done showering and drying it in between the toes. Um, okay. with a dry towel. And then, like I said, the betadine and then the uh, lamb's wool okay. will help really suffocate it. Because fungus loves a moist environment. And you work at Wendy's, you're in your shoes all day. Yes. Do your feet they sweat? sweat? They yes, sweat. they sweat. Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do also is call in something called dry sol mm -hmm. um, to the pharmacy. So that's really gonna help um, absorb the moisture okay. and kind of dry this, wick all the moisture off of your feet. Also, there's socks out there, bamboo. Um, I think Nike's got some dry fit or something, and you can get them on Amazon. Anything okay. that's a kind of a moisture wicking sock to get it off of your skin. And if you can, maybe your lunch break, kick your shoes off, even change your socks. <laughs> I know, I'm giving you a lot of homework. <laughs> Anything to dry it out. I don't care what you have to do. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to the toenail. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. If you have a, or if you're concerned for an athlete's foot infection, um, ask me your questions, take pics, post them, and I can help you out. Uh, so let's go ahead and numb up the toe. Do you have any allergies? No. Okay. Not that I know. <laughs> well, let's not find out today. So a little cold spray, the bee sting. So what we're going to do, we're also going to treat this nail. Um, because you only have it on this one toe, have you ever had trauma to this nail? Did you ever drop anything on it? Um. People have stepped on it. People have stepped on it. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get it numb. A little cold spray to be sting. Here we go. Quick little stick. This is the hard part. Once this is over, you're not going to feel anything. And don't worry, I will double check it to make sure. Doing okay up there? You doing okay? Okay, good. It's the quiet ones that get me. If someone doesn't say anything, I'll look up. I'm like, uh-oh, you're looking a little pale. Let me move this out of my way just a little bit. Oh, sure. great. Thank you. Cold spray. So if you also have a fungal toenail at home and you have any questions about treatment options, we've discussed it a little bit, but we'll go ahead and go over it again when I am, once he's nice and numb and I'm removing the nail. If you've seen the videos before, or you know that the oral medicine Lamisil is an option as well as um, our laser therapy we have. And I don't know, I'm gonna put just a touch more in. If locally, you know what laser is available in your area or not. Last pinch down here but you want to make sure be careful those uh, Groupon deals buyer beware um, some of those I mean some of them are great don't get me wrong but some of them uh, are used for other things such as tattoo removal and um, you know varicose veins and just kind of lightening things and they're not strong enough for a toenail like this 
All right, guys. Well, let's pause for a second. We're going to get everything set up, and then I'll be back, and we'll get this thing off. All right, everybody. We are back. So try to, time to tackle this toenail. So let's first make sure you're nice and numb. And don't worry. I'm going to cover it so you don't have to watch. I asked him before we started filming. I said, do you want to see what I pull off? He's like, no. Feel anything at all? No. I mean, I feel it. Just the pressure. Just the pressure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to use the tourniquet to help minimize any blood flow coming down in here. And he doesn't have an infection, a bacterial infection, I should say. So first things first, we're going to free up the nail plate. Are you okay if I talk through this for our viewers? Yeah. Okay. So just free that up. The more that you free it up at the base, now this one it appears he is gonna be really attached. So if you can see through here, all of this fungus is really digging into the skin itself. And you wanna make sure you don't go this way. You wanna go parallel to the nail the best you can. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and just take your time. You don't wanna traumatize the skin as, as much as possible. Gently free everything up. Well, I'm glad you have the next couple days off so you can relax. I really, if, if it's infected and we emergently have to um, remove it, it's just more tender once the numbing wears off. Free that up. You can kind of feel it and even hear it where it releases. There. Almost there. It's actually coming off pretty easy. So there we are. Okay, so you can see here on the bottom, if you're using a laser or Lamisil, it has to push off. Look how thick that nail is. So removing it before we do the laser or the oral medicine, Oh, which we didn't talk about the treatment, did we? Um, we've already talked about it, but he has opted to do laser. So now we've got a clean, healthy um, nail bed. We are going to, in two weeks, do our first laser treatment and it's not painful. Um, it may get a little uh, warm, but nonetheless, as soon as you say it's warm, she'll remove <coughs> the, uh, the laser itself and it cools it off immediately. Um, so if he didn't want to do laser, which is three treatments, one a month for three months, here at the office, it is $350 for all of the treatments. Um, unfortunately, it's not covered by insurance yet. Maybe in the future, please, insurance companies will tag you so you'll cover it. Um, but the other option would have been Lamisil, uh, which he has to take for a year. It would be seven days out of every month for the entire year. Of course, we always have that potential for liver damage. So we would do blood testing ahead of time, but he has opted not to do that and go straight for the laser. And in our experience, it's more effective than the lame cell anyway. So we're gonna focus on drying the feet out, get rid of the um, athlete's foot, and then healing this toe. And we can get started so we can have a nice, beautiful toe growing out. It will take close to a year for it to grow out. If they don't grow fast, about a millimeter a month is how long it, um, it takes. But I have found with the laser, it's faster because it's stimulating the circulation um, and the heat dilates the blood vessels to get the nail to come out. So um, yeah, I think you're gonna have a beautiful toenail to match the rest of them. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Any comments, please listen below. Happy to respond. And if you wanna see anything in the future, let me know. See you soon.